Imagine being unstuck in time, constantly jumping between moments of your life, some filled with joy, others with trauma, and even encounters with aliens. This is the surreal experience of Billy Pilgrim in Slaughterhouse-Five, a novel that blends science fiction, war, and philosophy in a way that challenges our understanding of life and death. Hello, and welcome to At The Book Fox Summaries, where we simplify books for your busy life, one summary at a time. By the end of this video, you'll have all the essential insights to decide whether Slaughterhouse-Five is the right choice for your next read. If it resonates with you, you can grab your copy through the link in the description. Slaughterhouse-Five, written by Kurt Vonnegut and published in 1969, is a cornerstone of American literature. A unique blend of science fiction, war novel and satire, it tackles the horrors of World War II while exploring the concept of time and fate. It has sold millions of copies and continues to be widely studied and celebrated for its deep insights into human existence. Whether you're curious about how war shapes human lives or intrigued by the idea of time travel, Slaughterhouse-Five delivers an unforgettable journey. By the end of this video, you'll have all the essential insights to decide whether this novel should be added to your reading list. The novel follows Billy Pilgrim, a soldier who survives the firebombing of Dresden during World War II. After the war, Billy finds himself unstuck in time experiencing his life in a non-linear way. He jumps between different moments, his time as a soldier, his post-war life as an optometrist, and his experiences being abducted by aliens from the planet Tralfamadori. The bombing of Dresden is the central event of the novel, and Vonnegut uses it to highlight the absurdity and destruction of war. As Billy moves through these fragmented moments of his life, he becomes a passive observer, accepting the inevitability of events with a resigned, so it goes whenever death or disaster strikes. Characters, Billy Pilgrim. Billy is a passive, almost indifferent character, shaped by his experiences of war and the Tralfamadorian's philosophy of time. His journey through time reflects the trauma and confusion of those who have experienced war. The Tralfamadorians. These aliens have a unique perspective on time, seeing all moments as existing simultaneously. To them, death is just another moment in time, neither good nor bad. This philosophy greatly influences Billy's outlook on life. Roland Weary. A fellow soldier who contrasts sharply with Billy, Roland is obsessed with the idea of heroism and glorifying war, a theme that Vonnegut critiques throughout the novel. Edgar Darby. A tragic figure. Darby is an older soldier who is executed for stealing a teapot after the bombing. His unnecessary death highlights the absurdity and senselessness of war. Themes and Messages The Horrors of War The novel's depiction of the Dresden bombing and its aftermath shows the senseless destruction of war. Through Billy's eyes, Vonnegut critiques the glorification of war and its devastating impact on human lives. Time and Free Will the concept of being unstuck in time serves as a metaphor for the lack of control humans have over their own lives. The Tralfamadorian's philosophy teaches that all events, good or bad, are inevitable, leading Billy to adopt a detached fatalistic view of life, mortality, and the inevitability of death. The phrase so it goes is used every time death is mentioned, reflecting the inevitability of death in the face of a chaotic and indifferent universe. It's a reminder that life goes on, despite tragedy, Best Phrases from the Book So it goes. This phrase appears throughout the novel following every mention of death or destruction. It captures the novel's fatalistic tone and reflects the Tralfamadorian belief in the inevitability of all events. And, everything was beautiful and nothing hurt. This line, both poignant and ironic, speaks to the fleeting nature of peace and happiness in a world filled with suffering. It encapsulates a longing for simpler, more peaceful times amidst the chaos of war. Slaughterhouse-Five is a deeply thought-provoking novel. Vonnegut's use of science fiction to explore the trauma of war is both innovative and powerful. The novel's non-linear structure might feel disorienting at first, but it mirrors the fragmented nature of memory, especially for those who have experienced trauma. It's a novel that encourages reflection on time, fate, and the human condition, while also serving as a searing critique of war's destructive power. 
As promised, you now have all the information you need to decide if Slaughterhouse 5 is the right book for you. If you enjoy stories that mix history, sci fi, and philosophical questions, this novel is a must read. You can grab your copy through the link in the description. And here's a bonus tip for those who made it to the end. If you're intrigued by the philosophical exploration of time in Slaughterhouse 5, check out our summary of Fahrenheit 451, the book that shouldn't exist for another unique take on time and fate. Thanks for joining us, Book Foxes. If you enjoyed this summary, hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on more books simplified for your busy life, and let's keep the conversation going in the comments. Hit the like button, share with friends, and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. Book Simplified, Minds Amplified, see you in the next summary.